A multi-species sward is a mixture of three or more species whose growth habits complement each other, uh, resulting in improved productivity compared to when each of the species are grown in a monoculture. So this year we've seen a massive interest in multi-species swords with a lot of farmers sowing a few acres to see if the benefits reported in research trials carry through to farm. These benefits include increased dry matter yield production, improved animal performance and the potential to significantly reduce nitrogen fertilizer use. So today we're going to take a closer look at some of the common species used in Irish multi-species swords. So the species that we would commonly use in our multi-species swords come from three plant groups. These, come, these are grasses, legumes and herbs as we have in front of us here. So the first one, I suppose, and one of the most uh, important ones, one that we all know about, is uh, perennial ryegrass. This is, I suppose, the foundation of Irish grassland systems. It's high yielding, highly palatable and, and very persistent. It's, um, it's the most common uh, forage species sown in Ireland. So next we have the legumes. These include white and red clover, which we have here. Uh, legumes are high in protein, they're highly digestible, and they also have the ability to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere. So this is done by a um, symbiotic relationship with uh, rhizobia bacteria. Um, which form nodules, which we can see here on the, on the roots, and this converts the atmospheric nitrogen into nitrate, which is available for, for the neighbouring plants to, to utilise themselves. So then we have the herbs. Uh, the first one here is Rubert plantain. Uh, as you can see, it's got a, a deep taproot. Rubert plantain is um, highly palatable. It's high in minerals as well. That's helped by the deep taproot, which can go down deep into the soil and, and mine up the, the minerals from deep down. Uh, this also helps with uh, drought tolerance, so we, we have improved uh, drought to tolerance in our sward when we include ribbert plantain. And then beside plantain here we have chicory, as you can see again it has a deep taproot which also helps with drought tolerance, it also uh, brings up minerals for, for the chicory plant. So chicory is high yielding, it's, high in, it's highly palatable and uh, it also has um, anthelmintic properties which research has shown that when chicory is included in a sward that, that animals have a lower parasite burden and less uh, requirement for dosing throughout the grazing season. So you can see clearly the differing root structures between each of these plants and this is one of the main drivers behind the increased productivity that we often see with multi-species swords. So each of these species is um, drawing nutrients from different levels within the soil profile so they're not actually directly competing with, with each other and this can uh, often lead to increased productivity. So when all these species are grown together we often see uh, increases in dry matter production and animal performance but of course all this diversity can, can lead to challenges and management must be adjusted compared to conventional uh, perennial ryegrass swords. So join us next time when we'll go through some considerations for managing multi-species swords on your farm.